Okay, it's time to put some uh, stitch holes in this thing now. Got to punch all the stitch holes and then touch up the die on it. I've already got the belt slots in it. They're one and three quarter inch as per request. And the way I did that is I just took my punch and my new dead blow hammer. So this one's two and a half pounds. It's a dead blow hammer. That's the one I've been using and that's about a pound. So I took my punch and I sharpened it and stropped it and got it nice and uh, well nice and sharp and it just banged it on through a lot easier and if you let the hammer do the work then you're good to go now I'm gonna go ahead take this one and I'm gonna mark off where my um, stitch holes go and y'all y'all know how I do that I take and I tap it and that makes little dents and it shows me where the stitch holes are going to go. I just use the, uh, the two pronger here, put one prong in the dent I just made and just give it a tap. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that all around this thing and we'll be back to actually punch the holes. I guess it might help a little if I explain why I mark it before I go ahead and punch the holes through. What that does is it shows me whether or not the holes are going to fit properly. Um, like on this one, this last space is just a little bit short coming around this side. So I know that I'm going to have to either stretch out the stitching a little bit or compress it a little bit in order to get it to fit properly and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll punch the first one keeping the punch perpendicular to the surface of the leather that way you get a nice straight stitch line both on the front and on the back but um, punching it in from the front first make sure that the front's pretty you want the front side to be the pretty side now I can tell that this stitch isn't quite gonna gonna make it so when I punch it next if I punch it way out here I'll have a big gap so what I'll do is I'll back it up just slightly from where the marks are just a little bit and I'll go ahead and pound it on through If you change the spacing just a tiny bit at a time it's not as visible it's not as evident that you know that there's a change in the spacing and that's got me pretty close so I'm gonna go ahead and punch these holes all around and we'll be back to touch this thing up okay I've got all the holes punched and now we're gonna go ahead and touch up the edges I just got my dauber and some black dye touch all that up and again I like to use lots of dye really soak it into leather and the edges will absorb a lot of dye Now for inside the stitch groove, I'm just going to use this, actually it's a cheap little, ah, it's falling apart, cheap little brush, oh, there we are, cheap little brush, and I'll just put some of the black dye on it, 
and touch up this groove and the belt slots and that'll be it for today let the dry let the die dry and then we'll come back and uh, we'll stitch this thing and then take care of burnishing those edges see you then